Hey, who's this? How y'all doing today? Happy Sunday to each and every one of you. I hope you guys have done church and then cooking food for you and your friends or your family or whoever you want to feed. Okay, y'all. Y'all know I cook every Sunday unless I'm out of town. We're going to do some good stuff today. I haven't done this uh, with y'all before, so I'm going to do my... Um, chicken in a new way. Well, it's not new. It's new for you, but it's not for me and my family. It's one of my uh, children' favorite meals. My young son, Jono, he loves what I'm about to make, and he go. I'm gonna have to send him a picture. He's like, "Mama, why? Why can you bring me some?" Y'all, we gonna do. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all in a minute. However, this is what we we're, we're about to do right now. I have. Um, Ooh, honey. Honey, let me bring it down for, ooh. <laughs> so you can see, I'm about to uh, waste some stuff, y'all. I'm about to cup, uh, cut up uh, two celery st uh, sticks, one whole bell pepper, one whole, I guess it's a medium onion, and I'm going to do about five cloves of garlic as well, okay? We're going to be incorporating all these in the chicken uh, and my seasoned rice that I like to make as well. So once I get this done, y'all, I will be back. See ya in a moment, though. Okay, y'all, we got everything cut up and ready to go. Let's get started. Let me turn the camera where y'all can see what I'm about to do. And y'all will just hear my voice. Okay? Okay. All right, y'all. Let's get ready. In here, I have some chicken legs. I have this big cleaver knife. Let me show y'all the knife that I used. This is the knife, the knife that I use when I'm cutting up the chicken legs in circles. It's something I learned when I was dating a Jamaican so when they did the brown stewed chicken a long time ago, y'all. Okay? So in this bowl, we have some cut up. Oh, it's oh it smells so good. Seasoned uh chicken legs, y'all. Oh, goodness, y'all see it? So, y'all, the seasoning that's on this chicken, um, I'm not going to tell y'all because, let me, let me, let me, let me raise this up so y'all, I can let y'all understand what that hood girl is doing. I have created a seasoned blend. I'm going to give my DBA name for my labels. I will be selling uh, bottles of my seasonings. Uh, coming up. It's not going to be expensive at all. Uh, so y'all stay tuned um, because I have some good good coming to you guys. And that's what's on this chicken as well. So let's get back to the stove. That is. I'll be back. All right. So y'all here's that kitchen. Here's that chicken in this pan here. I have some olive oil and butter and I'm going to let that heat up under medium high heat because what we're going to do, we're going to brown this chicken and then once it's brown, we're going to put those cut up veggies that I told y'all I was about to cut up. We will then put that in. We're going to add some Worcestershire sauce with some chicken bouillon and water. Uh, and then we'll let it uh, simmer down for at least 45 minutes or until done. We will be doing some seasoned rice. I always, always, always use Adolphus, y'all. Adolphus rice, always, always. That's the only one that I use. And it's going to be seasoned with the same vegetables that I'm going to be putting in this stewed chicken. And then I'm going to be doing some fresh corn once I get that uh, washed up and I will cut them in three pieces. 
two or three pieces and we'll get them under ball as well. But so y'all, once I get this oil um, right at the temperature I want it, and then I'll be back. Bye bye. Okay, y'all, let's get this chicken. And, uh, and as y'all notice, I did skin my legs, y'all. You don't want all that skin floating in your stuff. Let's get those in here. Y'all hear the sizzle? And this is just one pack of family uh, legs, y'all. I love how they cut up so cute. It smells so good. Y'all, that seasoning is everything. I can't wait till y'all get your hands on it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, y'all, I'm going to squeeze all this in this pan. I am. Well, maybe not. I better not do that because it's going to take my heat down too low. Because we got quite a bit in here. And I will be, of course, feeding... Uh, some of my neighbors as well. So y'all, let's get that browned up and I'll be back for the next step. Okay, sisters, this chicken is browning. The first batch is browning. We're going to take those out so we can get the rest. You don't want to cook it through now. You just want to brown your, uh, your chicken and you want it to look like this. Okay? Alright, so we're going to get those out. It smells so good in here, y'all. I wish y'all could smell it. And we're going to get the, the next ones in. Ooh, child. That grease is popping. This is going to be so good. Ooh, that grease is popping. Boy, that top at? We're going to have to put that top. So that grease is popping in. This is quite a bit of chicken, y'all, with that family, with that family pack as well, y'all. So I'm gonna turn my fire down just a little bit. Uh, we'll get the next pieces in there. Ooh, and I've got all the remnants of the other pieces. Baby, this is going to be so freaking delicious. I think I can move this top now. Now this is going to be so good. I haven't cooked this dish in, in quite some time. It's been a minute since I made it. Well, I think I made it one time over here. I just can't record. All right, y'all. We got those in. We'll let those brown on both sides. And, uh... Let's get those brown on both sides, baby. And I, uh, we'll be back, sister. See you in a moment. Okay, y'all. Let's take this. Uh, what we're going to do is now, since this chicken is really good and brown, and that olive oil and butter, and it smells so good. Now, remember that olive oil is healthy, y'all. So I'm going to leave that little bit that's in there. I'm going to pour this chicken back in here. I'm going to now incorporate the, the vegetables that I showed y'all, except for the garlic. We'll put all that in, the celery, onion, and bell pepper, and they all were kind of like roughly, very roughly chopped, because you don't want your veggies and your chicken 
to be so soft. You, I, I like a little crunch in mine, y'all. It is what it is. And I'm going to cook this down for about four to five minutes, and then I'll add that garlic once that is cooked down. Okay? Okay. So, this, I'm going I'm to turn that fire down just a little bit as well, y'all, to medium, because I don't want to cook my chicken all the way. I just want these vegetables to get a little soft. Oh, y'all, that looks so good, don't it? Don't it, y'all? You want to close up? Look at that. Mm-hmm. So once again, y'all, I'll be back. I'm just going to let that cook down for about four to five minutes. See y'all. Okay, y'all. That has cooked down ever so good. Let me bring you back for a close-up, y'all. That's how it looks. All the vegetables has cooked down. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add in... Our Worcestershire sauce. Let me get that a good shake. I'm going to add in about a cup and a half. And then I'm going to add in water as well with some chicken bouillon. You know what? I'm not going to do that. Let's, uh, let's just uh, unscrew it. So that was about a cup and a half, y'all. We're going to turn that heat back up. We're going to now get our chicken bouillon. And I'm going to add maybe two tablespoons. Because remember, our chicken and everything is already seasoned. Then I'm going to add in maybe... Uh, a half a cup of water. It's already bubbling. Oh, that looks so good, y'all, don't it? We'll put in just to cover the chicken, y'all. Let's give that a stir. I'm telling y'all, when this get through cooking, honey, uh, it's going to be so good. I kind of miss it. I'm excited. And then, of course, you know, you're going to serve this on uh, top of a, some seasoned rice. And I'm going to show y'all now what I do to get my seasoned rice. But well, we're going to get this to a ball first. Look at that, y'all. How good does that look? Don't it look super delicious? Mm. Oh, and it smells so good. Y'all, oh, it's coming to a ball. Okay, y'all, now, in this pan right here, can y'all see it? Let's see if we can bring it up a little bit. In this pan right here, I have the water coming to a boil. Now, uh, with that, I finally, very finely cut up some celery, onion, bell pepper, Oh, y'all, you know what? Let me put this garlic in here, y'all. I'm so glad I looked down at this board. Let me put that garlic in my chicken. Mm. All right, y'all, we're gonna, this is now to a full bar. We're gonna turn this heat down on this chicken and we're going to let it cook for about uh, 45 minutes. I'm actually going to actually put it on a timer as well. Forty-five minutes y'all. So in this pot as I stated we have water coming to a boil but before I bring it to a full boil all these seasonings that I have cut up is going into my seasoned rice and I want them to get soft 
in that water as it comes to a boil. So I'm going to add these three dry uh, vegetable ingredients in that water. And uh, with this in here, we're going to also add in some chicken bouillon. I'm going to add a tablespoon of chicken bouillon in here as well. I'm going to add uh, a tablespoon of garlic powder, the same as in onion powder. I'm going to add some all-purpose adobo, uh, maybe a half of a half of a tablespoon of that. I'm going to add in a tablespoon of black pepper, as y'all know, that's what I like. Well, no, maybe not a tablespoon, maybe a half tablespoon. We're going to add in a teaspoon of seasoning oil, and that is Laurie's. I think Laurie's have a very good uh, smoky flavor, but when it comes to a boil, I will add in my salt at that time. Not now. Uh, and then we're going to add in a half a stick of butter. Everything goes better with your butter. Let's get that in there. Oh, that smells good. So the water has come to a boil. Y'all, even the uh, rice water uh, smell good. I got to sneeze while that pep. <laughs> oh, bless me. Oh, oh. What football team are y'all watching today? My Dallas Cowboys not playing today. They playing Monday. But I'm, I was watching the Bears and somebody and then uh, somebody else and somebody else, y'all. Okay, so now we got this water to boil. Let's go ahead and add our salt. And I do about... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 teaspoon of salt, yeah. You want to season that rice water. So, I have my rice over here. Let's go ahead and incorporate that in. Let's get that stirred up. Mm, that smells good. And we're going to cook this rice for exactly 20 minutes. Period. You don't want to mess with that. 20 minutes. And on a timer. It smells so good. So good. Where my towel at? So good. I do not like a messy stove, y'all. I gotta get these dishes washed up. So now that we've done that, we will now focus on our fresh corn on the top. And uh, we'll be back. Y'all, that is the finished product, honey. So y'all will see me eating this goodness later on in a video. Ooh, y'all. Let me bring it up to y'all and see if y'all can smell it. Look at that goodness up in there. Honey, and if y'all seen it, y'all know it's so easy to make. So here is the corn uh, that uh, I did off camera. That's that good fresh corn. Y'all know I'm crazy about black pepper. Yes, you see the black pepper. And then, this is what your seasoned rice will look like. All right now, honey. See y'all later.